How's it going everybody? Man Cave Dave here in Michigan with another pickups video. Today is Sunday, July 7th. Hope you all had a happy 4th of July. And this is some stuff that I've picked up over the last week or so. Had a chance to go down and um, spend some time with my wife and son. And then go down and see my best friend Adam. And our other best friend Dave came up and spent an afternoon with us. So we did a little rummage selling and thrift storing uh, before hitting the beach. And this is all some stuff that I got off of... Uh, off that time as well as from my road trip stopping at some thrift stores so as you can see there's quite a bit so I'll start over here and work our way across so one of the things I've learned from watching all of your videos is to never pay full price um, to uh, to ask people if they will you know take less so here's a Super Nintendo it's a little grungy but no yellowing looking pretty good it was at a thrift store or a pawn shop. They wanted $29.99. It has all the hookups, one controller. I tested it, it works. Um, I asked them if they take $25, and the guy said, sure. So, um, got a nice Super Nintendo for $25 and uh, saved myself $5 in the process, which is really cool. We went out and stopped at a rummage sale. We stopped at one and asked if they had any video game stuff, and the lady's like, no, we don't. Just this Super Mario thing over here, and we look over, and there's a box challenge set, the one that came with Mario Brothers 3. And uh, I was like, oh, well, how much you want for that? And she yells out to her husband, you know, how much you want for the video game? <laughs> Not kidding, she said video. And uh, the guy comes out, and um, we're kind of in a... We were looking around uh, a not as well off area of town, so I'm thinking, you know, probably gonna want like 30 bucks for it or something like that. I'd go up to 50, because uh, challenge sets. I had one, but uh, you know, it's cool and it was in good shape. The guy's like, well, I've had that for 25 years and I'm I want 150 for it. I was like, or what do you say, a buck 50? And I was like, a dollar 50? He's like, no, 150. I was like, oh. Yeah, they don't even go for that online. I, I'd be at about 40, and the guy's like, nope. I'm like, all right, well, have a good day, and good luck. Not that I wanted to be mean to him, but, who $150 at a rummage sale? Like, it, good luck even getting it on eBay. But, uh, anyway, he stopped at another one, and the kid's like, yeah, I think my grandma has a Nintendo she wants to sell. Uh, come back later. So, came back later, and sure enough, we have a Nintendo... A um, little bit yellowed, but uh, that's okay. Has the zapper, a couple controllers, the hookups, and the games are pretty great. We've got two Zeldas, so Link and the original Donkey Kong Classics, Tetris, Monopoly, Dick Tracy, Jeopardy, 720 Degrees, Goonies 2, Jeopardy, Super Mario 3, Turtles, Pac-Man, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and Super Mario Brothers. And uh, <laughs> again, Sometimes you kind of have to hold your tongue a little bit, but the lady's like, well, my grandson looked it all up, and this game alone, somebody, you know, it was going for $999. And I was like, well, maybe a sealed copy in the box, but uh, this is worth maybe three or four, maybe five. So she wanted 75 for all. I asked her if she'd take 65 and she said yes. So again, you know, just asking. It doesn't hurt to ask. They might say no, but in that case, I saved 10 bucks um, for a total of, you know, $15 saved. So that was pretty cool. Let's see here. I think I have all of those games. So this will just be good trade or um, money recouping stuff. Stopped at another rummage sale. And they had a bunch of PS1 games. And, um... I asked how much they, this stuff was because it was all individually priced, um, you know, three or five dollars. And she's like, "Well, um, you know, quarter a piece." I'm like, "Are you sure?" She's like, "Yep, it belongs to my sons, but they're off playing. I'm here. It's hot. Quarter a piece." I'm like, okay. So we got Death Trap Dungeon. We got Odd World. Some of these I probably wouldn't have picked up except they were a quarter. Like this Jeopardy Second Edition. It's a quarter. Uh, Twisted Metal. PlayStation U Underground, it's like a magazine type thing, Oddworld, Abe's Exodus, and then William's Greatest Arcade Hits. So, you know, not bad for like, what's that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a buck seventy-five. Um, this is, well, let's see, what is this from? Hmm. Ah, that's right, my best friend Adam. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one. Hmm. Where did I get this? I think this was a Craigslist deal. But I don't remember how much I paid for it. So anyway, I'll just show you what I got. A couple controllers, the NES, there's no power cord. That's right. Um, they wanted 75, I offered 70, and they took it. Um, so no power cord, but the games. We got Ninja Gaiden, one of my favorites. Of course, My Brother's Duck Hunt, RC Pro-Am, another one of my favorites. The yellow copy of Metroid, which is great. Star Trek 2, Zoda's Revenge. 
Make League Baseball. The original Donkey Kong, which I didn't have, and this is like a $20 to $25 game, so that's a really good one to add to the collection. Goonies Part 2, Baseball, Star Tropics, Jordan vs. Bird, um, Ninja Crusaders. Oh, these are something different, I'm sorry. Turtles, Blaster Master, Mario 3, Double Dribble, kind of a janky copy, Russian Attack, Jackal, another bit rough, and Gotcha. So 70 bucks for all of that with the system. Missing a power cord, but you can add a third party for 5 bucks. So, not too bad. One of my favorite stores uh, that I stop at, they usually usually have you know some Nintendo games. They used to always want 3 bucks a piece. They just switched over to doing individual pricing, which is like, oh man. But uh, Ninja Crusaders I didn't have. It was 7 bucks, And uh, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse I picked it up for 10 which is a pretty okay price for that game. Um, but especially if I can bundle Castlevania 1, 2, and 3 together. Um, it's good trade or, or uh, sell. Um, so anyway, good additions there. Let's see here. Next, another rummage sale, Battle Tanks Global Assault. This is about a $10 game. They wanted 3 bucks for it. I offered them 2 They took it. So that was cool. And um, another store that I go to now and then had a copy of World Games, um, which was a buck, which I didn't have. And Player's Choice, but Tales of Symphonia, which they only wanted $22 for, and this is about a $40 to $45 game. So I went ahead and snatched that up as well. Cool. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's take a look here. Stopped at my local GameStop. Stopped there, just kind of talked to the guys, see what's going on, and um, try to pick up some PSP games since the PSP has a lot of very collectible titles, and right now they're fairly cheap since they just stopped making you know, stopped really selling and promoting it for the Vita. So I got Deadhead Fred for $269. We got Ragnarok Tactics, which I have a sealed copy, so this will be a nice one to add. I actually picked up two copies of this, Tactics Ogre, Let Us Clean Together, because I had two copies. And then last but not least, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, or Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, which I didn't have, so I was happy to add those to the collection as well. Next, alright, so uh, there was a Super Nintendo lot on Christmas that I wanted to pick up, so I went ahead and grabbed it, and I uh, was pretty amazed at what it came with. So it came with two copies of Donkey Kong Country Boxed. I think there's one that's missing the manual. Also a copy of Donkey Kong Country 2 Boxed. Final Fantasy 2, which I didn't even realize this came with it until my best friend Adam was looking through it. That's like, sweet! Super Mario World, um, Arcade Classics, Star Wars, Mario Kart, Mega Man X, which is great. Uh, UN Squadron, which is a great shmup, I really enjoy that game. Mortal Kombat 2, Another copy of Donkey Kong Country 2, Super Castlevania 4, with some writing on it. Another copy of Donkey Kong Country. Super, or Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And then four controllers, the cables, and the system. Um, so it was listed at 175 I asked him if he'd take 160 for it, and he said yes. Um, so that was really cool, and uh, as we were um, going back and forth, you know, 160 is a bit high, but especially with the games, um, I mean, there's a lot of quality games here that I can um, bundle with other stuff to trade or to recoup my money. I mean, just the quality of games here, I can probably split up into three different groups um, and add a few more and, um, you know, spend 160 on this bundle. I've got the other $25 Super Nintendo, so we're, let's say we're at you know, just under 200 bucks. Um, you can easily add another $25 Super Nintendo to this and make, you know, 350 bucks off of it. Um, adding some more titles that are popular but cheaper. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, he said that he had a, a Super Nintendo, or a Nintendo rather, deluxe set with Rob complete in the box. So I was interested. I said, well, yeah, I'm interested. You know, how much you want? And he told me, you know, what he was looking to get out of it, about 175 I'm like, well, bring it along. Let's take a look. So... Um, he got there, and he pulls this out, which I have one of these, but it's not nearly in nice of condition. I mean, there's a crease you can kind of see there along the box, and, you know, when the flaps is damaged. But it has the handle, and it just looks really good. Um, my heart sank a little bit, though, and you open it up, and there's no styrofoam. 
He's like, oh, yeah, the only thing that's missing is the styrofoam. I'm like, well, then it's not complete in the box. You have the original box, but no styrofoam. Also came with two box games, Gyromite and Duck Hunt, which these are the games that came with it. They didn't have boxes when they originally came with it. Um, I actually don't have the Duck Hunt box, so that was a nice addition to my collection. Um, so there's all this stuff. Here's Rob. Adam and I were talking, like, when we were kids, we actually didn't know anybody that had the Rob system, and... Well, let's face it, Rob. No offense, Rob, but you kind of sucked. Um, although you did help bring back the gaming industry, so that's good. But anyway, I also had this box of accessories. The gyro spinner, the two gyros, all the controllers. Um, so, he had the Super Nintendo that originally he had been asking 175 And he had you know, the Rob that he wanted 175 for. Like, well, you know, I'm interested. It doesn't have the styrofoam. How about, how about 300 He's like thought about it for a minute and said, okay, that sounds fair. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Got about 50 bucks off um, from the asking price. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to switch out the box and add a couple things I didn't have to my collection um, and at the same time make the money back, which especially um, <laughs> with my wife seeing how much of this stuff I'm getting, making the money back is very important uh, in order for me to be able to continue my collection. So let's see what else we got here. Next, we have, um, this is a box of stuff that uh, my best friend Adam picked up for me. Well, first off, I let him borrow this a while back. It's a Game Boy Advance with Zelda. It's this Oracle of Seasons. So I have a couple of these now, so that'll probably be up for trade or sale. Usually I try to put together a bundle with a couple of different Game Boys, Game Boy Advances, and a bunch of games. So a lot of times I think resellers buy them, which is completely fine. Somebody's getting some enjoyment out of it, so... Uh, but this box here, a whole bunch of stuff. Some of it's kind of yellowed, um, but we got a yellowed satellite. It doesn't have the receiver, but it's the satellite itself. Um, the Advantage, Grey Zapper, Game Genie, and Codebook, Pup Controllers, the NES Max. Um, I remember these books when I was a kid. I have had some, I actually have some still. So we got two copies of, by, they're all by Jeff Roven. How to Win at Nintendo Games 3. How to win Super Mario Bros. games, how to win Game Boy games, how to win at Nintendo, how to win Nintendo 64 games, and how to win at Nintendo sports games. What we had to do before the internet, actually read about what to do. Craziness. Uh, it also came with this box of games, and here's a manual for Crystallis. Um, I have one of these boxes already. This one's pretty rough, it's missing the handle. Uh, but the games themselves are in really good shape, so let's see. We open it up. We have two copies of Rygar. Oops. One with the manual, which I didn't have, so that's good. Uh, Isolated Warrior, which is a game I didn't have, so that's a good one for my collection. Dragon Warrior Ultima Quest the Avatar, which is one I didn't have. Simon's Quest 2, Hydlide, Shadowgate, and of course Crystallis. Um, so this whole lot here, I think they wanted 125 for, and he ended up paying 110 for. Um, I think that was what it went for. Anyway, we got a pretty good deal on it. So, um, what 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 I did is I just gave him an extra twenty or twenty five bucks, just kind of a, a thank you, and for spending the gas to go get it. So, I'm definitely be able to get my money back, um, plus add some stuff to the collection I didn't have. This is a box of goodness that I picked up on my way back yesterday. Stopped at a roadside flea market, actually on the way to visit my friends, and asked if they had any game stuff. The one guy's like, I don't know. But if you stop by later, I can see if I do. So I said, sure, I'll be coming back through Sunday. Um, so I stopped back through, and he came out, and this is what he had. So uh, Intellivision 2, which doesn't have any cords, so I don't know if it works. It does have both controllers, though. Um, so here's hoping. An NES deck, kind of grungy, no cords. Open it up, it's got a grungy copy of RBI Baseball. And then uh, all kinds of games for the Intellivision. Oh, and here's a Star Master for the 2600. Um, but I mean, we got some great games in here. We got a lot of Tron, Qbert, Frogger, um, River, or sorry, Se Sewer Sam. The one that's most worth the most is Masters of the Universe, Power of He-Man. It's about a $30 game. Um, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Worm Whomper, Burger Time, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so some of these pretty cool collection here. Uh, Stampede, that was always one of my favorites on the 2600. Um, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back. So, uh, Happy Trails. Oh, and uh, another cool thing, has these three little 
books from like the 50s and 60s. They're, um, what are they? Like souvenir books. So we got those kinds of dolls. Does this have a year on it? Hmm. Don't think so. I don't know, they're old. <laughs> we got one of the Mackinac Bridge, and then Lincoln's New Salem from Illinois. So, that was kind of neat. Uh, anyway, so I was like, well, how much do you want for it? He's like, well, I don't really know how much it's worth. You know, what do you think? I was like, hmm, I'm not sure, you know. It's like, you know, I, I see that, you know, these probably go for about 50 bucks or so by themselves. I'm like, well, yeah, if they had all the cords and, you know, a new pin connector and worked, then 50 bucks would be accurate. He's like, well, you know, how about a hundred bucks? I'm like, yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I think my number is closer to 40. He's like, well, how about 50? And uh, kind of thinking about it for a minute, and I didn't have an Intellivision 2. I got the NES system, and think about all the games that I picked up, and plus just all the Intellivision games. I said, okay, let's do 50. So 50 bucks, and I added up the total for all the games. And granted, I don't know a whole lot about Intellivision, but just the value in that and the systems was at about 300. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, let's see here. So next, we've got this big box back here. Another Craigslist deal. Um, this might be a little bit harder to get to. Bear with me. So we've got, as you can see, we've got a Sega Genesis, Sega CD, and under here is a 32X. It's all tested and working. We got a copy of uh, Star Wars 32X for the CD. We've got Slippied. The Amazing Spider-Man, which I didn't have. Um, Star Wars Rebel Assault. Dragon's Lair, which I didn't have. Sewer Shark. And a loose copy of Time Gal, which is, I think, about a $10 game, which I didn't have. Uh, and then, so the Genesis games, we got NHL 94, which is about a $10 game. X-Men. Sonic. Sonic 2. Mortal Kombat. I think I have all of those except for the NHL. And last but not least, I'll open this up, and we've got uh, Game Boy, some Game Boy games, we got, let's see here, uh, Castlevania Adventure, um, NFL Football, Nemesis, uh, Gargoyles Quest, which is about a $10 game, Kirby's Dreamland, of course, we got Tetris, uh, Blades of Steel, which I didn't have, and Final Fantasy Legend. Um, but what I really wanted for this is this right here. TurboGrafx Express. Um, unfortunately, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, when you turn it on, the screen ah, lights up and goes black. Um, so there's backlit, but it doesn't boot games. And so I need to do some research. And what's really unfortunate is I asked the guy, does it work? And he's like, oh yeah, I was just playing some games. Um, and then I emailed him back. He's like, oh yeah, it did that to me once too, but it worked for me. I was like, mm -hmm, sure it did. Oh well. But I didn't make too much of a stink because of the games. So TurboGrafx games, we got... World Class Baseball, uh, oh boy, Vigus, Vigus, Tactical Gladiator, Ghost Manor, The New Adventure Island, which is about a $75 game, Cybercore, Gunboat, um, Ninja Spirit, Dragon's Curse, Keith Courage, Air Zonk, uh, is the last one, this is about a $50 game. So... I, know, I did some research online. I think I can get this fixed. Hopefully they can just replace the capacitors. There's somebody that does it for like 65 bucks. It's in really good shape. Uh, this whole box of goodness is 300. Um, it was one of those make a deal or make an offer deal. And I made it based on the thoughts that everything worked because um, you know, I can sell the 32X Sega Genesis Sega CD with the games I have. And I have some other extra games and make back, you know, 150 to 200. Um, so kind of a bummer on the TurboGrafx-16 Express, but hopefully I can get it working. He also said he has a TurboGrafx um, system that he couldn't find and some more Game Boy games that he said he'd be happy to just give to me for what I paid for it. So if he does that and I can get it fixed, it'll be worth it. Otherwise, it might just be a lesson. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Um, over here, we got some more fun stuff. Um, let's see, that goes with something else. So... We got some uh, cassette tapes, went to a rummage sale, they had a cassette tape holder, I kind of walked by, Adam opened it up, and it was just full of 80s rock, which I love. So we got a couple Tesla albums, Cinderella, uh, Firehouse, a couple ACDCs, Ball Breaker, and Razor's Edge, Motley Crue, 
and Alice in Chains. These were like 10 cents a piece, so, um, oh, it's just something cool about having cassette tapes, as weird as that sounds. Um, let's see, Resident Evil 2, didn't have this game, paid 15 for it, a little bit more than usual, but wanted to pick it up. Got some VHS tapes, these were also 10 cents a piece, Sweet, or Alice, Sweet Alice. War games, which I've never seen, and Clint Eastwood and the Enforcer, Sudden Impact, Magnum Force, and Dirty Harry. And then another rummage sale had a couple of PS2 games, which would have come to eight bucks. Um, they took six for it. So we've got Valkyrie Profile 2, uh, Samaria, which is just the game, and then a complete copy of Radiator Stories, which is like a twenty to twenty-five dollar game. So I was happy to get that. Um, back here, some NES games. I think I paid a buck for Russian Attack. And these are all complete games. Some of them I had loose, but not complete. And there's one or two I didn't have at all. So, uh, Danny Sullivan's Indie Heat, which is like a $25 game complete. So is Nigel Mansfield's World Championship Racing. And then Goal, Top Player Tennis. And the boxes are in really good shape. They're not crushed. And this one, you know, has a little bit of ripping up there. But overall, very good. Ferrari, Grand Prix Challenge. Michael Andretti's World GP. It looks like that's it there. So pretty, uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, this case is Craigslist steel that um, Adam picked up for me. It's like a DS. It's a Nerf case. It's kind of cool. Even has a big stylus back here. You can pull out. Um, but they wanted what do they want for this? I think they wanted like 125 or something. And uh, we got it for 110. So it's the limited edition Zelda DS or DS Lite. Um, it works. That's great. Has the charger. It still has the original gold stylus with it. Here's um, oops, an extra stylus. And we got some great games here. We've got uh, Guitar Hero Decades, which comes with this funky thing. Uh, we've got Animal Crossing Wild World, Zelda Phantom Hourglass, and Spirit Tracks. Super Mario 64 DS, Teenage Zombie, Tomb Raider, A Witch's Tale, Call of Duty 4, Dementium the Ward, and Kingdom Hearts. Um, and so, I've never been much of a DS player, I'm just starting to get into it. We thought it was so cool though how you could share a game. So we were playing Call of Duty 4 with three DS's in one game, uh, which is really neat. Because you can um, hook into each other wireless. And then we were playing Contra 4, which is pretty fun. So, I'm um, very happy to add that, uh, those games and that to the collection. Let's see if I can pick up a box for some of those things, but good stuff. A few more games, George Foreman's KO Knockout Boxing, paid a dollar for it, it's complete, and The Immortal for Sega Genesis, that was a couple of bucks I think. Um, let's see, online.